Ready, one, two, three, hook! And it goes through the bottle. American $20 bill. Change into British 20 pound yoga bag. That. You know where it went? Right there on your shoulder. Good one, yeah. Good one, good one, yeah. They actually link together. Whoa. Just like that. All right, guys, I'm back home from the European tour, back home with Ava. Ball. <laughs> I just want to tell you guys we have about one day left in our Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. It's going on today and tomorrow, Cyber Monday. That's November 27th. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your families if you celebrate the holiday. So, www.evanairtv.com, take 20% off your entire order on the shop with the promo code MAGIC20. Enter that at the checkout and you'll save 20% off your whole order. Thank you so much for the support. And without further ado, let's get into the first of our international videos from the tour. This is London Street Magic Tricks. Check it out. What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, 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 magic. I am your host, Evan Era. Today, we're here in historic London, England. In today's episode, I'm showing you five amazing magic tricks on the streets of London, England. So if you're ready, hit the thumbs up button for me and let's go. This video that we're producing right now is part of a series of videos that we're doing around the world, part of our world tour. That's going to culminate with one final video, 10 magic tricks around the world. So London, England is the first stop of the world tour with nine more stops to go. Here's a cool money trick that'll save you going to the currency exchange. Here's a performance of what it looks like. For this one, I have a $20 bill. It's an American $20 bill, you can see it there. There. Also see on the back. Now watch, all I have to do is take it and fold it once, twice, and three times, and it looks like it's changed into a British 20 pound note. I'll teach you the secret right now. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, here's what you're gonna need to set this up. You're gonna need two different currencies. I have an American $20 bill here and a British 20 pound note. And the only other thing you're going to need is this right here. This is rubber cement. You could also use a glue stick if you want it. Your first step is to fold up one of the bills. I like to start with the British pound, so you're gonna fold it up just like this, and it's gonna get glued in place right here on the back of the American $20 bill. You want it to unfold like this, so make sure it is folded properly so that when it unfolds, it's like that. So you wanna glue that corner right there. Gonna take a small dab of your rubber cement, brush it on just like that. Put a little on the other side as well. Now you're going to position the two just like this, line them up as best you can, press it into place. You can open this up to make sure the edges are lining up properly. You want that bottom edge to line up just perfect, just like that. So now we fold this up. Just like this. All right, let this dry and then you're good to go. Okay, so now that you have this set up, you might have a little bit of the British pound note poking out from behind the other bill. Now the way you're going to cover that is just with your hand, just like this. You're gonna present the bill like that. And you say, watch, I'm gonna take the American $20 bill and you're gonna fold the bill in. And then as you fold it down, you're going to flip the entire thing over to expose the British pound on the back. So you're here, as you fold this is when you're flipping it over to show that it is magically changed. Then you're going to open this up and reveal that it has turned into the 20 British pounds. Again, you want to be careful not to flash any corner of the American dollar. You want to conceal that in your hand. But the beauty of this is that you can then peel off the rubber cement and hand this out to the spectator. You're gonna palm this into your hand, drop it to your side, and ditch it into your pocket. And that is the secret behind the magic currency exchange trick. Okay, this one is the magic pop socket card trick. Take a look. All right, Ava, I have a cool card trick to show you. I have the king of hearts here. So king of hearts, yes. Mm -hmm. Took that down there. And I also have my phone here. And what I'm actually gonna use for this trick is my laugh at life pop socket. See it there? Mm -hmm. Pull that off my phone. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pop socket right here. I got the sticky side right there. So I'm gonna stick that on the back of the car, okay. sit it on the table, yes? Yep. All right, so now all I have to do to make the pop socket disappear from the back of the car is blow on the card. Are you ready? One, two, watch the card, three. <gasps> It magically it disappears. Okay, seriously, where did it go? <laughs> look, 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 it's not there. Watch. Where'd it go? If I go in my pocket right here, 
Here's my phone. On the back of my phone. Just where it started is the pop socket. Isn't that cool? Okay, here's the secret behind the magic pop socket card trick. Okay, all you're gonna need for this trick is a pop socket. The new Laugh at Life pop sockets are available now at evanairtv.com. If you wanna pick one up, there's a link in the description. If you don't know what a pop socket is, it's a little cell phone stand. It has a sticky back. So when you get your pop socket, you're going to remove the little piece of film from the adhesive back, just like that. Now you can apply the sticky back of the pop socket to your phone case. It's simple, they just simply stick to the back of your device just like that and then you can pop them down and up. They're removable, whatever gets dirty or loses its stickiness, you can just run this under some water and it will renew and be sticky again. A great addition to your phone, it's a great little holder. Pop sockets are really fun, really cool. It makes your phone more stable and easy to hold and what it's best known for is being a great little phone stand. So it will allow you to sit your phone upright like this if you wanna watch a video on YouTube. You watch Evanera. Or in this case, we're gonna apply it to the back of a playing card or at least we're going to make it look like we do. So then obviously the next thing you need is a deck of playing cards. Now you're going to need two cards to set this up. Now it's going to look like one card, but you're actually going to need two cards to set this up. Two duplicate cards. That means they're identical to each other. In this case, we're going to use the King of Hearts and the King of Hearts. One card is going to be set aside and we're going to start out using this one. Our first step is to cut a section of the card right out of the middle. This is what we need right here. I'm going to cut about an inch off from one of the sides. Just like that. Now we can set these other scraps aside, we won't need them. So all you need from the one card is this piece right here, and you need the full duplicate card. The next thing you, oh, creepy hand. <laughs> the the baby's hand. Next thing you're gonna need is some tape. You need about a one inch piece of tape. A small square just like this will be perfect. You're going to take the piece of card and you're going to line it up on the front of the duplicate card so that it aligns with the picture just like that and it looks like it blends in very well. So you want to make sure you have that as squared up as you possibly can before you apply the tape. And apply your tape just like that. So what we want this to do is to create a little hinge just like that. Now we have this little flap that we can use to make the card sit upright. So now it looks like there's a pop socket attached to the back of the card. As you can see, it's sitting upright off of the table because the little flap is holding it up. We actually have it sitting just like this. That's what makes it look like there's a pop socket attached to the card. So for this, we're gonna take our Laugh at Life pop socket and we're gonna make it look like we stick it to the back of this card. And now that you have your gimmick made, you fold the flap in like this and then pinch it with your fingers here. Now you can pretty cleanly show off this card to the audience front and back and it looks completely normal. Now you're gonna take your pop socket, show it to the audience, position it like this, and you're gonna bring the pop socket forward towards the card as if you're sticking it to the back of it. What you're actually gonna do is use the adhesive of the pop socket to stick it to your fingers, just like that. And it's gonna make it super easy to hold the pop socket in a finger palm position, just like this. So as you bring the pop socket forward to make it look like you're pressing it to the back of the card, just boom, right to the back of the fingers, sticking it in the finger palm position, just like that. So here, stick it to the card. It's actually stuck right there. Now as you set this card down and move your thumb off of the flap, that tape should naturally make it just pop up like this. That's perfect. Because we just want to sit the card down just like that and it creates a very convincing illusion that the pop socket is attached to the back of the card. So all you have to do is drop your hand with the pop socket palmed down to your side and ditch it into your pocket. Pop pop socket in your pocket. Or you can drop it beneath the table as I'm doing here. So your hand is here, you've set the card down and now you're just going to drop it down just like this. And you can ditch this wherever you want. You could even stick it up underneath the table. The beauty of this is the adhesive on the back will really work in your favor for concealing. So now that you're into this position here, backside view, with the flap holding up the card, everyone's convinced that the pop socket is attached to the back of the card. Now this is such a beautiful, amazing moment in the trick. When you blow on the card to make it seem like the pop socket just magically vanishes from underneath it, the little flap will automatically just fold in underneath and the card will just fall to the table looking like the pop socket has just vanished off the back of the card. Watch.
And then the genius thing about this is you can instantly turn the card over and show with both hands empty, front and back, just a single card, because our flap is so well camouflaged in. The pop socket is just completely vanished. I think the perfect ending is to load the pop socket onto your phone inside your pocket, pull it out, have the pop socket on your phone, which would also be a great way to start the trick. You pull out your phone, say, look, I'm gonna take my pop socket off here. Great way to set it up. And then to end the trick, the pop socket ends up back on your phone. Great trick to do if you have a pop socket on your phone already, and if you don't have one and you wanna pick up a Laugh at Life pop socket, as I said, they are available now in the shop. A warning, once you pop, you can't stop. And that is how you do the magic pop socket card trick. Okay, this one is a classic street magic trick. This is the linking rubber bands. Check it okay, out. Okay, for this trick, we have two rubber bands. See them? Okay. Yeah. All right, watch. All I do is take them and touch them together. You see? It's one, yeah. two, no, three. They actually link together. Whoa. Just like that. You can pull. That's what, I, yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Look. How does that? Totally linked. They really, I was gonna see they're like separate bands. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Wow. That's crazy. I'll teach you the secret behind this amazing street magic trick right now. Okay, here's the secret setup for the linking rubber bands trick. Here's what you need for the trick you're going to need three separate rubber bands. One starts out separate from the other two, and these two are actually linked together for real. Now, the way they're linked together, is by tying this one on the end. All you're gonna do is start out the trick by breaking one of the rubber bands, and you're gonna do this prep before the trick starts. So you're going to break a rubber band, and then once you have a rubber band broken, you're going to tie it around another rubber band. So you're going to link them together for real, just like this, and then you're going to tie it into a little knot. Easiest way to do that is to gather both the little ends like this, pinch them, wrap around your finger just like this, and then push them right through the loop just like that you know pinch and pull and slip knot now once you have it tied in a knot you're going to conceal this knot in your two fingers just like so between the thumb and forefinger of your hand the knot is concealed inside the hand just like this and the spectator never sees that so what they see at the beginning of the trick is this band hidden behind your hand so it's gonna go right here palmed in your hand as you pinch the knot just like this so your band is going to drop down like that this is hidden in your hand so the second band is hidden in the palm of the hand just like this so as this hand is turned forward this is what your spectator is going to see which looks like you are totally holding these two bands completely normal what they don't know is that you have an extra band right here already connected and linked to the band in your right hand take your loose band in the left hand say one two three and on the third one you're gonna do two things at once. You're gonna simultaneously conceal this band in this hand, in your left hand. You're going to drop the band that's in this hand. So it's like this, one, two, three, just like that. So this band gets concealed by the left hand and this band is dropped by the right hand and it looks like they just magically linked together. You're gonna drop this hand to your side and ditch this rubber band into your pocket and bring this hand right back up empty to show that they are completely linked. Now the cool thing about this trick that makes it different than other linking rubber band tricks that we've shown is that your spectator can pull on the band like this. Like once it's linked together, you can have them grab the bottom and pull on it and they can see that it really is linked together. The bands really are linked because you've tied the knot there. And then to get rid of the evidence and end clean, you can simply break one of the bands to get them apart. You're basically just pulling apart that rubber band knot that you made. So you can then hand the bands out for inspection. There's absolutely nothing to find. Take the rubber bands, link them together. That is an amazing street magic trick that's perfect to do for a stranger in the streets. And that is how you do the magic linking rubber bands. This is an awesome trick that you can do at home. Check out this performance. Okay, V, for this one, I have a plastic soda bottle and I also have a drinking straw. See? All right, so I'm gonna take the straw and the bottle. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Okay. Take the straw, look. One, two, three. What? And it goes right through the cap of the bottle. Hey, how are you doing that? Now look. Okay, here's the secret.
secret to the magic straw through the bottle trick. This is the secret to the magic straw through the bottle cap. Play a cut in half bottle cap. Let me show you how to make this. Make, 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 make. Ma, 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 ma. Make it like this. You're gonna take a bottle of soda, Coke, cop, whatever you call it, wherever you live. Uh, you're gonna take the cap to it. You can set the bottle of soda aside. And you're gonna take some type of cutting tools. You can use a utility knife. Definitely use a parent's supervision if, if you're uh, kid. if you're a kid. What me? What you're gonna do is cut the cap in half. This channel's turning into what's inside. Oh yeah, I love that. Shout out to what's inside. So you're just gonna cut your cap just like that. And you're gonna end up with this right here, basically just half of a bottle cap. Now all you do is take the empty soda bottle, place the cap on just like this, and the cap should naturally seat into the grooves of this bottle top, just like that. So as you can see from a front side view, it looks like a very convincing illusion that it's a full top of a bottle. Now all you have to do is slide the drinking straw down through the opening in the top, and it looks like it has magically passed through the bottle cap. From your spectator's angle in the front, it really looks like that straw just magically passes right through that bottle cap. You can then mimic unscrewing the cap, and you can then switch the half piece of the cap for a full one to hand out to the audience. Getting rid of this little piece into your pocket when no one's looking. And that is how you do the magic straw through the bottle cap. Okay, this street magic trick is super simple. It's called the broken and restored marker cap. Check it out. Okay, so we're in the back of a London taxi cab right now, headed to lunch. I have a cool trick to show you with this marker. Okay, watch. Okay. All right, take a little, uh, what's this called, the clip on the side yeah. so you can clip it on your pocket. Yeah. I'm just gonna take that and do something with it. I'm actually gonna try to break it off, okay? Okay. Watch, all you do is pull it. Uh, okay, broke it. Yeah. Now watch, I'm gonna try and put it back on, okay? Watch. Okay. All I have to do is rub. <laughs> I've broken many of those before. How did you do that? I still don't get it. I still don't get it. Good one, yeah? I'll teach you the secret right now. The secret behind this one is a lot more simple than you might think. Here's a quick rundown of how to do it. Okay, here's the explanation to the magic broken pen top. Here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need two markers, two identical markers. One is going to be completely normal the whole time. You're not gonna break the little clip off of that one. The other one, you're going to start out by breaking the clip off before the trick starts. So you're gonna start off with this little piece palmed in your hand. This broken marker can be set aside. You won't need it. So once you have the little clip broken off, you're gonna palm that in your left hand, and you're gonna hold the marker in your right hand. So marker held in your right hand, you're gonna pull on this clip a little bit and kind of make that sound of it snapping against the pen. That is really going to create the illusion of you snapping it off because what you're gonna do is pull this little clip and you're gonna simultaneously twist the pen so that this little clip is hidden behind it from the spectator's view. So they're gonna see it from the front. It's gonna look like it goes from here to there. It looks like the clip has just been snapped off. It's actually just hidden behind it. So all we do to accomplish that is just a slight twist of the pen as soon as we pull the clip. And simultaneously, you're going to expose the little broken piece in your other hand. So at speed, it's gonna look like that, and you just pull the little clip off. Then to put it back on and make the pen restore, you're simply gonna palm it back and twist the pen back into position. Super easy little sleight of hand trick that you can do at home with just a little bit of practice. And that is how you do the magic broken and restored marker cap. All right guys, it is bonus trick time. This one is a hot trick that you can do in a flash. Check it out. All right, I have a really cool coin trick to show you. <laughs> okay. You wanna see it? All right, so check out the coin. You may inspect. Is it normal? Yes. I also have a little piece of paper here. You wanna check that out? Sure. Also have a fork. So, uh, while you're inspecting the fork, I'm actually going to take our coin here and I'm going to fold it up inside our little piece of paper. Uh -huh. Just like this, you can see it. It's a tissue, not really paper, but... True, it is a tissue, that's true. Can you take the fork and hold it at your fingertips just like this? I'm actually going to put the coin in the paper right here in the tines of the fork. Okay, just like that, perfect. Now, I will take the fork like this, hold this lighter for one second, uh, hold the other hand, hold it in the other hand, kind of bring your arm uh, up like this and hold it just there, perfect. Hold still for me. All right, watch, I'm gonna take the lighter. You're gonna hold it with me, okay? I'm gonna light it, watch. The coin vanishes. Inside the fork, you know where it went? Right there on your shoulder. 
See? Mm. Show it to the camera. <laughs> the coin magically mm. jumped on your shoulder. Cool, huh? Then how'd you get in there? Mm, magic. Okay, here's the secret behind the magic flash paper and the fork trick. Okay, here's the explanation to the magic disappearing coin to the shoulder trick. So what you're gonna need for this trick is a fork, a metal fork, do not use a plastic one. And you're gonna need some of this right here. This is called flash paper. It's a special tissue paper that's been soaked in a very flammable liquid and then the paper is dry. Very popular magic prop, a magician's favorite. So all you have to do is take a piece of flash paper, touch a flame to it, and it will magically disappear into a poof of fire. So the fire actually makes the paper completely disappear. This totally vanishes without a trace. There's nothing left. So the secret to the coin trick all lies in the handling of the coin being folded up in your little piece of flash paper. You're gonna fold it inside just like this. So now you have the coin wrapped up inside. You're going to misdirect their attention to the fork. So when you hand them this to inspect, now all you're gonna do is force the coin through the paper just like this, tear the paper just like that, and you're gonna slip the coin into a finger palm position, just like so. So coin is finger palmed here, and the piece of paper is still folded up here, so they believe the coin is in the paper. All you're gonna do is slide that into the tongs of the fork, just like so. Now you're gonna have them hold the fork, you can hold the fork, but you're gonna transfer this coin into this hand so that when you go to raise their arm up you can place the coin onto their shoulder when i had you grab this lighter here and hold it up i was actually loading the coin onto your shoulder right here so hold this up like this you don't notice because your attention is here on your hand so you don't feel my hand on your shoulder really it's just boom there the coin's now loaded onto their shoulder you can have them light the lighter or you can light it with them and then once you light the flash paper it disintegrates just like that it disappears in a flash they call it flash paper the coin is apparently gone and then you can say look it jumped right there to your shoulder and that is how you do the magic flash paper fork trick all right guys that is it if you like this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and share it with a friend who you think might like it also head over to evaneratv.com there's a link in the description pick yourself up some pop sockets so that you can do the card trick at home we also have a lot of other cool magic gear and we offer international shipping on all of our stuff in the shop again link in the description it's www.evaneratv.com also put a little mobile card right here on the video that you can click on thank you all for all the support on the shop and be sure to stay tuned for our 10 magic tricks around the world video coming soon. All right guys, if you wanna keep up with all the awesome Instagram photos that I've posted from this around the world tour, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Evan Rosenman. That's my real name, a little secret there. All right guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic props from this video. I'm giving away pop sockets, I'm giving away some flash paper, and I'm also gonna give away some British pound notes and some euros, some other foreign currency to lucky comments in the comment section below. So all you have to do to be eligible for the giveaway is give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section, and be subscribed to Evan Eric. TV with your notifications for our videos turned on. You can leave unlimited comments on the video. In fact, the more comments you leave, the better your chances of winning a pop socket flash paper or some foreign currency for the money trick. I'll be going through the comments and randomly picking people and mailing out giveaway prizes so that you can do the magic at home. Alright guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me a private message on YouTube with your full mailing address to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button on the video and leave your comments below. If you want to keep up with all the behind the scenes of these videos and cool travel footage from our trip, Fan meetup was a great success. Thank you all, thank you all so much for coming. It started raining, so we've literally gotten rained out now. Met so many of you guys, thank you for coming out. It was truly a pleasure to meet you and I really appreciate all the support. Uh, I'm super surprised by how many people showed up with it being such like last minute notice. We put the video out 
on Sunday and here it is Tuesday and so many people came. So if you're a parent and you brought your kid or if you just came here directly yourself, thank you for coming. I really enjoyed meeting you and uh, I'm, I'm flattered and I am humbled by your support and your admiration. Thank you. Really, thank you. Be sure to subscribe to Evan Arrow Vlogs. It's my second channel on YouTube. The secret, not a lot of people know about it. It can be one of the like exclusive first people to get in on it. It's like getting on the ground floor of Starbucks. So go subscribe to Evan Arrow Vlogs. There's a link in the description of the video as well. Also, um, there'll be a little thing on the end screen that you can click on. They'll let you subscribe to the channel too. Go subscribe to Evan Arrow Vlogs. I'll see you on that channel. Leave me a comment and let me know you came from the main channel and I'll try to respond to your comment on the vlog channel. All right guys, if you are brand new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap that notification notification bell so you see all of our videos. You can check out another one of my videos right over there. Just click right over there. Subscribe to Evanera Vlogs down there. You can check out the shop right down there if you want to grab some merch and support the channel. Stay tuned for another fun video from an exciting location. Until next time from historic London, England and the United Kingdom, thank you for watching. Remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.